Well, I just think the, the timing of this particular incident uh, fits in rather neatly uh, with some of the statements that have been made from within Spain um, about uh, the measure that has been taken by our government, um, you know, where they basically think it's unnecessary and they're, and they're annoyed that it's happening. And I, I can understand why, because there's a lot of money involved for, for the Spanish. And it's, a, it's a, you know, I, I'm not saying I approve of some of the decisions made in, relating to the Wuhan virus. Um, but it seems to me that it tallies too accurately. And I'm afraid there is a, or has been a tendency within Spain over many years, that when something is upsetting their population, this is a lovely way of actually taking attention away from uh, a real grievance within the country um, by raising this whole spectre again with Gibraltar, which I think is extremely unfortunate, I have to say. You've told the Portsmouth News that you feel the UK should be taking complaints to a political and diplomatic level. Now, incursions are currently protested by the UK to the Spanish authorities. Do you feel this isn't enough? And in what way would you like to see the UK step up its response? Well, unfortunately, of course, we're now leaving the EU um, because that's where I would have liked it to have gone within the EU context. Although, although we're not a member of the EU, I think the EU should still actually look at such uh, flagrant breach of a, a, an ancient treaty and, and say something about it. And I think we should talk to them about it. Um, and I think we need to talk to other nations uh, who, are, who are friendly to us um, and get them to raise the issue with Spain as well, that this is not the way to behave. So, for example, within NATO, um, I know that the Americans, I've known for some years, would very much like to have used Gibraltar more, um, but they're, they're slightly uh, hamstrung because of the relations with Spain. Um, they prefer Gibraltar as a base than using, uh, using Rotor or somewhere. They, they much prefer to use it. Um, and I think that's all very unfortunate. And the Spanish aren't helping themselves. They know very well that the, the, the issue of sovereignty of Gibraltar is not on the table unless the people of Gibraltar suddenly decide that they wish to change things. That's our, our position. And they don't, quite clearly, from the various votes there have been. And uh, I've, I've been there on the rock when some of these things have happened and, and big ceremonies there. And it's, uh, it's been quite clear the whole population doesn't wish to do that. Uh, and therefore, in this world we're in now, um, a consensus-based world, it should be, I find it extraordinary that the Spanish keeps sort of rattling the drum and, uh, uh, and, and pushing this issue. The Royal Navy Gibraltar Squadron boats were recently replaced and are set to be replaced again in future with fast patrol boats specifically designed for Gibraltar. Do you feel this will make something of a real difference or is it more of a cosmetic change? Well, I think, I think we needed um, slightly better craft, uh, more robust you know, with speed and all these sorts of things. I've been rattling a cage about that over a few years now, saying we should do that. So I'm glad that we're getting these two new craft. Um, You've got to have something robust, powerful that can that can actually stand up to things, even if it just go, even if it's just a matter of bumping into them. If you if you see what I mean, you know, they've got to be able to do that sort of thing. Um, and so I'm glad we're getting them because we have to show that we are taking this seriously and it is an important issue for us. I don't think we need to base lots and lots of warships here and things like that because you know that that that's not the sort of way I hope we're going to go. I hope things are going to de-escalate, but you have to be able to respond if people behave in a stupid way.